JFT just fair and direct. Good morning everyone and welcome to JFD's daily market review for March the 26th. I am Haralambos Pissuros, senior market analyst here at JFD and I will talk about yesterday's main market movers, what's my opinion moving ahead, what are today's important events and how they could affect the markets. But before we start, let's read our disclaimer. The content we produce does not constitute investment advice or investment recommendation, should not be considered as such, and does not in any way constitute an invitation to acquire, to acquire any financial instrument or product. I will leave you a few seconds to read the rest and then we will jump into our analysis. Okay, the US dollar traded higher against the majority of the other G10 currencies on Thursday and during the Asian session Friday. It gained the most versus CHF, SEC and the Euro in that order, while it underperformed versus the Pound and the Aussie. The greenback was found virtually unchanged against, uh, against NZD. The strengthening of the of the greenback suggests uh, that markets traded in a risk-off fashion yesterday. However, the relative strength of the risk-linked Aussie and Kiwi combined with the weakness in the safe haven francs suggests uh, otherwise. Thus, in order to get a clearer picture with regards to the broader market sentiment, we prefer to turn our gaze to the equity world. Here, major EU indices traded traded unchanged or uh, lower, but sentiment improved during uh, the US session with all three of Wall Street's main indices closing in the, in the green. Risk appetite was boosted even further during the Asian session today with Japan's Nikkei 225 and China's Shanghai Composite gaining 1.56 and 1.63% respectively. EU indices may have continued feeling the heat of the fresh lockdowns and the slow vaccination, um, the slow vaccination process, but in the US the story was different. Investors were more confident to buy US stocks, perhaps as uh, perhaps as US initial jobless claims for last week fell uh, by more than anticipated to a one-year low, confirming that the US economy is on the verge of uh, strong uh, of strong growth. The optimism intensified during the, Asi the Asian session today after US President Joe Biden said in his, um, in his uh, first formal news conference that he would double his administration's vaccination rollout plan after reaching the previous goal of 100 uh, million shots uh, 42 days ahead of the schedule. As for our view, it has not changed. Yes, the fresh lockdowns in Europe combined with worries over increasing taxes in the US may weigh on market sentiment again. However, as we already noted, we would treat any new declines in equities as part of a corrective phase and not a reversal. With most major central banks pledged to keep their respective monetary policies extra loose, we do see the case for the prevailing uptrends in equities to resume at some point in the foreseeable future. As uh, for today's events, uh, during the early European session, we already got the UK retail sales for February. The headline rate rebounded to zero point, to excuse me plus 2.1 percent month over month from minus 8.2 percent as expected, but uh, the core uh, the core rate rose to 2.4 percent month over month from minus 8.8 percent, with the forecast being at 1.9 percent. Germany's IFO survey for March is also coming out. The current assessment index is anticipated to have risen to 91.3 from 90.6, while the business expectations uh, index is uh, forecast to have inched up to 95.2 from 94.2. This is likely to drive the business climate index up to 93.2 from 92.4. Later in the US, personal income is expected to have fallen 7.3% month over month in February after rising 10%, while spending is anticipated to have slid 0.7% after improving 2.4%. The, the core PC rate uh, for uh, the month, uh, the, which is the Fed's favorite, favorite deflation metric, is expected to have held steady at 1.5% year over year. 
This is likely to ease further fears of uh, higher inflation and thereby it may allow equities and other risk-linked assets to gain. The preliminary University of Michigan Consumer Sentiment Index for March is also coming out and the forecast points to a, fractura, to a fractional increase to 83.5 from 83. So that's it uh, from me. Thank you very much for watching and listening. For those who are interested in learning about the main events of the week much earlier, you can subscribe to the weekly Market Outlook webinar, which I'm holding every Monday at uh, 8 o'clock a.m. GMT. You can find the link in the description below. So goodbye, have a great day, a greater weekend, and I'm looking forward to seeing you here again next week. JFT, just fair and direct.